Hi, I'm Dave Altstad. I'm the coordinator for the 2012 business plan competition for the Wyndham region. Uh, the competition is sponsored this year by Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation and Strolling of the Heifers. And we're very excited uh, about the competition and invite all community members, those with a idea for a business as well as those that have a small business to enter the competition, develop a business plan and compete for prize money that will total $60,000. Um, past winners have used their share of the prize money to buy equipment and other important um, uh, uh, things for their business to be able to grow their business ultimately to hire more workers and uh, to really make a, a bigger impact in the service and product that they offer. So please, uh, I hope you'll consider entering the 2012 business plan competition. Um, and I want to give you some more specifics. There are two divisions for the competition. One, uh, for, uh, it's called the Farm Food Division and it's uh, sponsored by the Strolling of the Heifers. And this division is specifically focused on uh, farms and uh, food enterprises. So if you're a small farm, you, you produce some sort of food, you're a restaurant, and you have an idea or you have a small business, um, you should go ahead and, and compete in that division. The other division is the uh, it's a general business division and that's sponsored by Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation and and basically that division is open for all other businesses um, that are not related to food and to farming um, and it, so anywhere from the arts to manufacturing to healthcare any other industry sector um, whether it's a business idea or uh, an existing small business ought to compete um, in that division. And so within each division, we break it out by whether it's a new business or an existing business. Uh, more uh, higher um, prize money totals available for existing businesses than for new businesses, but we wanna make sure that those two uh, groups are not competing uh, against the same prize money given you know, a business that's been around for several years uh, can show um, some things that a, that a small business or a, or a, a new uh, person with a business idea can't in terms of revenue and projections and things like that. Um, so it's a way of creating new businesses as well as to help our small businesses uh, grow. So there's some specific, there's some important dates to, uh, to know to uh, compete in the business plan competition. Um, the, f the most important one is uh, uh, April 11th by 4 p.m. All interested contestants need to submit their business prospectus. This is a brief um, introduction to what their business plan would be. It includes a two-page narrative, up to two pages, and up to one page financial statement. Um, and to, pre to prep for submitting that business prospectus, uh, BDCC and Strolling the Heifers are working with uh, Vermont Small Business Development Center, uh, often known as SBDC, as well as Southeastern Vermont Community Action, known as SEVCA, um, to put on um, uh, a series of workshops um, that will happen this month and we're asking that all contestants or those that are interested in competing in the business plan competition attend one of those workshops. It's actually a mandatory uh, requirement uh, to be a contestant and uh, those uh, workshops are going to be two hours long and would-be contestants will get information on what is it that uh, we're hoping that they'll put in the business prospectus and we'll have an opportunity to uh, get further guidance by SBDC or SEVCA in helping to develop those, uh, those plans. 
And so the, the dates of the business prospectus workshops will be March 19th, uh, March 28th, and March 29th, all in Brattleboro at the Marlboro Grad Graduate School, and also March 22nd at Westminster and the offices of Sebka. Um, and there'll be uh, uh, either uh, late afternoon or early evening. I would encourage those uh, people interested in attending a workshop and being a contestant in the competition to go to www.bradaborodevelopment.com uh, for more information on how to register for the workshops and the specific uh, um, uh, times of those um, of those workshops and the specific uh, locations. You may also call up BDCC at 802-257-7731, extension 210, and ask for Sandy, and she'll give you more of those information, more of that information in greater detail. You can register online, and you could also go to BDCC and fill out a form there in the office. So that's the workshops and the first stage of the uh, competition, the uh, business prospectus um, submission, which again is due April 11th uh, by 4 p.m. We have a panel of judges that are made up of community members, uh, uh, those in the business community, those in, uh, in farming and in foods, and they will review all of the uh, business perspectives and will select a total of 20 finalists, five per um, division and uh, category. So five new businesses in the general uh, division, five existing businesses in the general division, as well as five new businesses in farm and food and five existing businesses in farm and food. Um, those finalists will be invited to submit a comprehensive business plan. Uh, the due date for that is May 22nd by 4 p.m. And those business plans can take uh, whatever format that the uh, contestant chooses in terms of length, although we do have a, a, a set of uh, 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 items that we uh, request or suggest that you include anywhere between you know what's your marketing plan what's your product and service that you're offered offering uh, how many people do you employ how many people do you think you'll employ what is your revenue projections um, and a whole other series of, of items that ought to go in that business plan um, on May 30th after the submission of the of the business plan, uh, finalists will attend a final event at Marlboro Graduate School and make a presentation of their business plan in front of the panel of judges. Um, those judges will uh, critique the presentation as well as uh, the final business plan in deciding later on that day uh, who are the winners of the uh, business plan competition. Uh, all finalists will win prize money, um, uh, and the amounts differ on the um, on the uh, uh, the place of their uh, what place that they come in in the competition. So, uh, first place uh, in the existing business category, and this is both for farm food and for the general area. Those first place winners will uh, win $10,000. Second place will be $5,000. And three runner-ups will each uh, win $1,500. In the new business division or category, um, top prize will be $5,000. Second place will be $2,500. And three runner-ups each will uh, be awarded $1,000. All finalists, uh, after the awards presentation, uh, will have an opportunity to network with 
um, entrepreneurs, business owners, uh, and uh, investors and others who are attending the Slow Living Summit uh, as part of the um, uh, strolling of the heifers uh, festivities over that period of time. And so that's an excellent opportunity for finalists to share their business ideas or how they want to grow their small businesses in front of uh, um, folks in the community and coming and those coming from elsewhere who uh, may be interested in learning how they can help. Um, there are, uh, uh, j just to help uh, give some um, sense of previous winners, uh, last year the top prize uh, winner for the existing business general um, division was Laura Zendell Design of Guilford. Uh, the top prize in the new business uh, uh, category for general uh, uh, division was Pinewood TMS, of, um, which is located in Brattleboro. In the farm food division, the uh, top prize for existing business was Side Hill Farm. And the top prize for the new business in the farm food division was a uh, big picture farm. All of them, uh, those businesses are up and running and they've uh, made some great strides in uh, growing their businesses over the last year. Um, there are some eligibility uh, requirements that people should be aware of. The business plan competition is open to those businesses that uh, already exist or would uh, exist in um, uh, BDCC service area, which is Wyndham County plus four additional towns that abut Wyndham County. Um, and, and those include um, Windhall, Reedsbur Reedsboro, Searsburg, and Weston. Um, to compete in the competition, uh, businesses have to have a annual gross revenue that does not exceed uh, $500,000. So we're talking about small businesses. Generally speaking, a new business uh, would be a business uh, that's a, either a business idea or a business in its uh, infancy, um, so less than six months uh, in operation. And businesses would compete in the existing business uh, category if they were um, more than six months in operation. Um, finally, um, past contestants in the business plan competition, this is the uh, seventh um, offering of this business plan competition. Second, uh, with, uh, that BDCC is partnered with strolling of the heifers on this. Um, past contestants are invited to compete in the business plan competition again. We just ask that the finalists from last year, that's the 2011 edition of the business plan competition, sit out one year. However, other contestants from last year, those that uh, submitted a business prospectus but were not uh, selected as finalists, can go ahead and compete again this year. And we invite and encourage your participation.